Hollis Daniels has been on the stand for several hours today, detailing his life growing up with his parents and entering college. Hi there, I'm Lauren Motter. Earlier this month, he pleaded guilty to killing Texas Tech police officer Floyd East Jr. KMAX Claudia Puente joins us live from the courthouse. Claudia Daniels was emotional at times during a testimony today. Lauren, he became emotional when talking about his parents. He's very soft spoken and walked the jury through his struggles with mental health and his heavy drug usage. Daniels told jurors his mental health really started taking a dip at the end of his high school years and he would have vivid fantasies about his death, saying, quote, I would imagine how my body would look like after suicide. Who would find me? What music was playing? I was having these really crisp fantasies that I couldn't stop. He began experimenting with drugs by stealing his mom's ambient and it just expanded from there, saying he would try anything to get high, from sif sniffing keyboard dust cleaners to Xanax, marijuana, and even acid. But saying Xanax was his drug of choice. When asked about his mentor, AC, who was very close with the man who died in the tragic accident, Daniels didn't want to talk about him, saying, quote, truthfully, I felt like we spent a lot of time talking about AC, and that's not why we're here. He did say AC was his motivation of getting through school. When Daniels was asked if he wanted to return to tech his sophomore year, he tells the jury, I didn't want to go, I didn't want to stay. He also says he didn't want to live, but felt like going to school was a better option from those two, as living with his parents was horrifying. The jury must soon decide whether to sentence Daniels to life in prison or to death. Lauren, back to you.